State government is Oklahoma's largest employer, even with nearly 4,000 fewer employees compared to three years ago. Running it like a business doesn't always mean saving money, especially when it comes to hiring and retaining good employees, because working for state government costs employees money. On average, state workers make 19% less than their counterparts in the private sector. For some state employees, the pay disparity is much larger, to the point of qualifying for government assistance, like food stamps. A lot of competing interests for dollars right now. A growing we number of state agencies state are telling lawmakers uh, they need so more money really to give workers right pay now. raises and keep them from leaving for much higher paying jobs in the private sector. And for many state employees, such choices are not hard to make. I believe we have state employees who qualify for many of the benefits like SNAP, like daycare assistance that DHS administers. So you have a situation where uh, you have employees who are administering certain programs, either qualifying or very close to qualifying for the same benefits that they administer. The Department of Human Services, Corrections, the State Treasurer, and the Office of Emergency Management have all gone public with the problem of staff turnover, which is at some agencies running well ahead of the 13 percent figure, which is the state average. Gary Evans is the chief engineer of the Oklahoma Department of Transportation. The agency has 2,300 employees, and that is down by over 200. Evans says in the last few years, turnover has become a big problem, mainly for those who know how to operate the heavy equipment ODOT uses every day. Normally we will range around 8%. That would be what we could consider a normal turnover rate. Recently it's been as much as 15% and as much as 40% in some classes, 40% in our equipment operators out in the field uh, that hold CDL licenses, the ones that are plowing the snow or doing the primary care for the highways that we have. Tom Dunning is programs administrator for DHS in the Sooner Care program that provides services to the aging and disabled to help them remain in their homes instead of having to live in a nursing facility, which saves the state a lot of money. Dunning has 120 registered nurses across the state and his turnover rate is also much higher than the state average. Right now our turnover rate's around 25 percent. Nurses, just the, the nature of the profession, they are uh, naturally a very valued um, uh, professional and have lots of opportunities. So uh, those nurses uh, who, who work for us sometimes have to evaluate uh, what's best for them. Their stories are repeated at the Department of Corrections, which often runs at 75 percent of staffing or lower in state prisons. The much talked about Department of Veterans Affairs has chronic turnover, due in large part to the low pay. State employees last saw a pay raise seven years ago. Lucinda Meltebarger is administrator of the Human Capital Management Division of the Office of Management and Enterprise Services. Each year, her office conducts a study to show what state workers are paid compared to their counterparts in the private sector and in other nearby state governments. It compares apples to apples, comparable jobs to comparable jobs in this contiguous state market. The compensation study shows an average pay disparity of just over 19 percent for state workers compared to similar jobs in the private sector. But for some state workers, the disparity is far worse. In my annual compensation report for last year, there, there are employees that are greater than 50 percent below market. In fact, the most recent survey shows some state employees more than 140 percent below market value. Employee turnover is estimated to cost state government more than $68 million a year. Multibarger says it's time for a new, more detailed compensation review. A total compensation study goes much larger than that and looks at recommendations for salary levels and benefit levels and looks at what is this benefits package truly worth to that employee versus how much money do we spend on it. But that study has not yet been approved and it will cost money. Lawmakers this year will examine one plan to take them out of the employee pay debate by creating a market-based system that sets salaries at a fixed percentage of market value and hands out pay raises based on performance. 
the State Department of Transportation has already moved to that approach. We're in the process of doing kind of a, a benefits analysis of our employment uh, to look at what uh, retention type things we could put in place. So we're out visiting with our employees across the state to talk to them about working conditions and job satisfaction. But we've also done a market study to look at the compensation that we provide to the employees. And ODOT has already taken steps to improve employee pay because of what that market study found. An adjustment that's about 6.6% 6 6 .6 on average across all of our employees. It will cost ODOT this year an increase in payroll of 3.3%, but that is for half the year. A full year of the pay raises doubles that. Uh, and about uh, $7.2 million annually. This year, with all of the uh, turnover that we've had, we do not need any additional money to, to cover these additional costs uh, because of the, of the lower employment uh, that we've had over the, the, the past few months. Tom Dunning says compared to the private sector, the registered nurses in the DHS program he administers are working for less than 80% of their counterparts in the private sector. For years, the state has pointed to the value of the employee benefit package as a way to make up for that lower salary. But Dunning says that doesn't sell as well as it used to. Well, I don't think it's as uh, strong a package as it was a few years ago. Um, but at the end of the day, when you have uh, nurses who have not had a salary increase in six years, um, regardless of how good the benefit package is, it doesn't help them make their day-to-day -day expenses. Several lawmakers have pre-filed bills to change the current pension and health systems to save the state some money, which will further impact employee benefits. And for younger people looking to join a state agency, a benefits package that exceeds what is offered by private enterprise is not going to be a major factor in deciding who to go to work for. Younger people who want to come into state service and look at it and they, they discuss it with, with different state agencies um, are making the decision to go elsewhere just because of the sheer economics of the salary. Sterling Zierle is executive director of the Oklahoma Public Employees Association. He says it's time to take a new look at state benefits and what they are really worth to employees. The benefits are kind of an interesting topic because there's a cost and there's a value. The value that benefit your health insurance may be different for me as a single individual than a person with a family of four. So you can't just look at the cost of the benefits, you got to look at the value to that employee. You can't eat benefits. Zerley says if state leaders really want what they say they want, it's time to change salaries for state workers. We want to run the state like a business, okay? You, you hear that all the time. I have no issue with that. But how many private sector companies run the state and not compensate their employees in seven years? Which basically has been since 06 since state employees have a pay raise. Zerley is hopeful that change is coming this year to how state employees' salaries are determined and how pay raises are given something that has even more importance for the years ahead. Tom Dunning has worked in state government for 26 years, and soon he will retire, something state government is facing on a massive scale. Over the next 10 years, state government is estimated to lose more than 15,000 employees to retirement, or nearly half of the current workforce. Finding replacements while paying so far below market value will not make that effort any easier.